Cold. Oh yeah. You like these stupid things, don't you? No. Neither do I. Well, it's one of those cars that I've been driving by for long time at least two years sitting in the yard right up the street one minute up the road I always wonder when's gonna be the day that I get the call to pick that up I always figured that the cats were gone up here, every single car. Cats are gone. Somebody cuts them off. Well, call to pick this one up. And the girl says, you know, I gotta get a little more than scrap, you know. Should, you know, the problem is, is people talk and they start saying they know, you know, how much things are worth and start bullshitting and, uh, people start to think that they know too much and um, so she wants to get a little more than junk so blah blah new battery no it's not it's been sitting two winters it's junk um, new starter no it's not had to whack it to get it started but was gonna fix it up so it's an O2 Subaru Impreza. It's got over 200k on it. So I said, you know what? It's one of those cars that I've been looking at for so long, and I wanna. I just want it, just for the principle. And uh, I got a roundabout from the cat guy, and uh, it's got a wide range. Once you get them off, you get the numbers. Got a wide range of value on the cats, so uh, I gave her a price. I said, you know, if it's complete, you know, and she said, oh yeah, it's complete. So I went and looked at it. It was sitting in the grass. All the tires were flat, sunk down in the ground. Uh, I managed to get my head under there, and it appeared that the uh, the whole cat system was there. On these, it's like a whole package deal all together. It's got a couple of different ones in that whole front pipe. But um, yeah, it was all there, so I ended up buying it. And uh, something weird happened. I I had to uh, jump it, my little jump pack on it to get it to uh, get it into neutral. And I pulled it on the trailer, no problem, no resistance, no nothing. It just rolled right up on there with the flats because, you know, the car don't weigh nothing. But um, I got it on the trailer, and then I went around the corner, and uh, I pulled over in a spot where sometimes I like to take pictures because I'm weird and I take pictures of everything. But um, I was taking a couple pictures, and then I I realized I I looked underneath the trailer, and. Uh, it was a huge puddle of transmission fluid on the ground, right in the road, and um, it was just steady stream was coming right out from under the car. I said, "That's weird." So I got the hell out of there, so no one seen that I made a mess in the road. But um, came back home, and sure enough, the uh, transmission was empty. Nobody's perfect, but I didn't know where the tranny dipstick was, and uh, I thought it was this one down here. Uh, yeah, you can probably see it in the yellow down there, but uh, I fought with that for an hour. Couldn't get it out. Finally got it out of there, and uh, that was the that was the gear oil. It wasn't the transmission? Transmission's over here.
right there. So, uh, as you can see in the video, uh, the thing fired right up. It didn't even crank. Well, when I first hooked power to it, I did try it before it was on camera, and uh, it just clunked. And all I did was tap the starter, which is right there on top. I just gave it a couple of taps with the pry bar, and uh, then I turned the camera on, and what you seen was that the first time it started and it cranked, it hardly cranked twice, it just fired right up. And uh, it was uh, obviously, it was loud. And I'm like, man, I thought I looked under there. You know, I'm pretty sure that nobody cut the cat off, but it sound, sure sounded like it had no exhaust on it. Pretty loud. So. No more fluid leaking out because it all came out, so uh, it wouldn't move at all. I ended up just, uh, the car's so light, I just rolled it off my trailer and momentum right into the garage. And uh, I want to get a closer look at this thing. So, uh, yesterday, that was yesterday, I only had about a quart of fluid hanging around. I dumped it in, nothing coming out, but still no movement. Um, with it running, you know, and put it in gear, nothing happened. So today I said, well, you know, I'm going to have to spend $20 and get some some transmission fluid and, uh, you know, because it could be something stupid. It could be a line that I could patch up real quick or, you know, what, more or less, uh, I just wanted to kind of honestly uh, figure out where this leak was coming from and why all of a sudden um, it just you know started pouring out um, and then so I said anyway I started pouring some fluid in and sure enough uh, started leaking out so I got underneath I found something a little interesting underneath here we are under Subaru you can see the way these exhausts are it's got this whole windy you know pipe and cat and everything thing mm. how you doing yeah. wildlife ladies and gentlemen the wildlife so yeah you could probably just as easy just take those uh whip those nuts off with the impact and drop this whole exhaust down and then cut it back there and you know but whatever so I started uh, you know look at the leak anyway where's it coming from? it's coming from straight up so when I went straight up here I look in the corner of the transmission pan got a perfect slice in it yeah come to find out look at this looks like someone was trying to get the cats off and they failed they tried it a couple different ways but they only got halfway through the pipe and then when they were doing it they hit the corner of the transmission pan with the blade. Now, sitting there in the yard, it didn't leak because it, the fluid's all sitting down in the pan, not up here in the corner, you know, maybe a little bit, but so uh, when I started driving and I turned the corner and hit the brakes, I guess it must have sloshed ahead and uh, just dumped it you know, or depending on how it was uh, sitting on the trailer too, I mean it had flat tires in the back and everything so and uh, there's another cat right there and uh, that's not touched they they probably didn't even know how many it really had but um, there you go I mean uh, the cuts don't look very rusty so I don't know what kind of shenanigans uh, these people were trying to pull, whether they went there and um, tried to get them off, 
you know, before I came, trying to bamboozle me or, I mean, uh, I would have still looked and I wouldn't have bought it. So the joke would have been on them. But these, uh, I don't know if we can really see, but these cuts, you know, you'd think that they would be a lot more rusty sitting in a, you know, a grassy, muddy area of the yard for, you know, uh, at least two years. So, and, uh, you know, the ground around the car and everything, when I went to pick it up, it didn't look disturbed. It, you know, the tires and everything looked like they'd been sitting there, so they didn't move it. And, uh, I don't know how, you know, you'd have to be a pretty skinny person to uh, get under this thing when it was sitting there on flats. I mean, I could barely even see under the car. So, there you go. You tried. You failed. Let's see, uh, oof, look at that oil pan. That's, uh, that's pretty crusty. Probably put your fingers through that, but it ain't leaking. Thing seems to run pretty good. So, I think I'll, uh, let that set up a little bit, a little JB Weld on that. And then I'll put another coat on top, and, uh, that'll be like that. I mean, you could, you could run that for years. You know, it's only the... It's only a sheet metal pan, but uh, you could take it off very easily. Take all the bolts, take it off, clean it up, weld it up, you know, grind it down good and make it nice. You never know. Um, but not sure if the car is worth doing that or not.